So today I'm going to get you up and running with Wii U through Batacera. I'm going to show you some video settings, some community download packs to make your games look so much better, and also go through control settings. So check this video out. <laughs> So if you're new to my channel and you like what you see today, just hit notifications and hit subscribe so you don't miss upcoming content for Batacera, Retrobat, Launchbox, and a range of standalone emulator videos that I upload. So we're looking at Wii U today, and first of all, we obviously need the latest Batacera for this, and I'm using version 37. And if you've not yet installed that or don't know how to do it, look at my setup guys for the latest Batacera setup. So we're on Batacera and what I'm going to do from here is just press F1 and we're going to start rearranging some files or putting some files into the right places. So I've got my external drive connected and I've got a game ready to go. And this is Star Fox Zero. It's a great game. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just right click on this and copy it for now over into my Batacera ROMs and Wii U folder. And sometimes these can take a little while. Okay, so once you've copied your game into the ROMs in the Wii U folder, I'm going to just go into this folder. And this is actually a .rpx file extension I'm using for this. If we just go into code, we can see just there, starfox0.rpx. And that's what this system recognizes, as well as other few file extensions. But I find .rpx works just fine. Uh, next thing we're going to do is just head over to my external drive again. And I've got another file to add, and this is keys.txt, keys.txt. And you can find this one on Google very easily. It's just pop into Google, keys.txt, and you'll likely find this one. So what we're going to do with this one is just go into the Batacera BIOS folder and into the CMU, CMU folder. And we've already got a keys here, but if we open this up, is actually blank so this is almost like a dummy and it's just telling us that we need to put uh, the keys in here so what i'm going to do is just paste my keys.txt and i'm going to go down to overwrite and that is now replace keys.txt and what this does is it almost activates our games that we're putting in so there we go, we got lots of different regions of each Wii U game, and it's also got the WUD keys, which is uh, what we need to get this up and running on Batacera. So I'm gonna go to File and just quit out of this. And what I'm gonna do next is go to File again and just close out of here altogether. Okay, so once we're back to Batacera, I'm gonna just enter main menu by pressing Start on my controller, and Game Settings and Update Game Lists. Really update game lists, yes. And we now have Wii U here, so let's just go inside of here. And here's my game, Star Fox Zero. Let me just download some cover art. So main menu, scraper, and just scrape this. And scrape and finish, so update game list. So if we go back to main menu, game settings, update game list, and yes, we now have the awesome Star Fox Zero artwork in place. So let's take a look at this. If we go to view options, I'm pressing select. And if we go down to advanced system options, we got lots of different video settings here to play with. Now, it's said that CMU or SEMU uh, works best with Walken drivers enabled. So I'm going to just make sure this is checked. And we've got other features here, such as VSync. And I always say put VSync on to reduce any screen tear. So dependent on how strong your computer is, then go to triple buffering, but I'm going to just go to double buffering for this. Now, aspect ratio generally, well, in fact, all Wii U games were designed to be 16 by 9. So keep aspect ratio or keep aspect <laughs> ratio. Going to keep this on. And we've also got a choice here to enable gamepad to be able to that all Wii U games would require you to be using the gamepad, which is obviously a touch screen display. So we could enable this or disable it, but it's actually disabled by default. But if you want to enable that, then just go down to enable and select it. 
Now, if we look at the next option, this is async shader compile. So when Wii U games are loaded for the first time, it will say compiling shaders. And this is an option you can check to on to speed things up. So you can experiment with that one if you find games are very slow with compiling those shaders. Now, if we go straight back up to the top under decorations, if you fancy decorations put around the sides of the screen, I don't think it's actually going to look too good. It's, uh, Wii U games were 16 by 9, but the option is there. And if you want to use this, just go to decoration set. And uh, by default, you've got a Wii U uh, decoration just there to put into place if you really want to do that. But like I say, Seaman games are 16 by 9. It's going to cut out most of the image that we see. So let's just boot up Star Fox Zero, and there's no different emulators to choose from on here. Semu is literally your only option. So let's boot this up. And here we go, we're in. So I'm going to just go for a little bit of gameplay, and then I'm going to show you how to get the community updates or the community mods shall we say uh, most wii u games are actually displayed in 720p but with some community mods we can download we can actually put these into 1080p if we really want to uh, another game to check out with the wii u emulation scene is breath of the wild zelda uh, some of the mods and the community is packs you can get for breath of the wild really is groundbreaking stuff so be sure to check those out so I've got the sound disabled on this just for this setup guide, but you should hear a sound. So as we can see, I've actually got my PlayStation controller and it's working fine. I've not needed to go into controller configuration. This is literally working straight out of the box and it controls really good. Uh, just be sure that you do have some good hardware inside your laptop or your desktop. Uh, to support Wii U, especially when you go to use community mod packs, that type of thing, because they can be pretty wearing on your hardware. But as we can see, this is really working good. And to exit that, I just press Alt and F4 on my keyboard, and that's taking me back to Batacera. So let's take a look at getting some community packs available for this game. So if I press F1 to go back into the window where we can put files into place, what I'm going to do is go to Applications, and we got CMU or SEMU Config. If I double left click on this one, Our game is put into place for us automatically. And what I'm going to do is see if Star Fox Zero has actually got any community downloads for it to make the game look better. Some do and some don't. So I'm going to just right click on my game. And if I go down to edit graphics packs, right here at the bottom, we'll see download latest community graphics packs. If I just left click on that one, we can now see that Star Fox Zero actually does have a community graphics pack and it looks like we got a change of resolution just here so if i just click on that one uh, as we can see the default like i was just saying for wii u games is 720p but with this community pack if i drop this down we can actually put this up to 4k if we really wanted to but for this i'm going to just choose 1080p which is 1920 by 1080 i'm going to just select that one and just close out of here and whilst we're in here, if you've got DLC or game updates for your Wii U games, it's a very simple way of doing this. If we just go up to File and just go down to Install Game Title, Update or DLC, just click on that one. And simply all you do here is just navigate for your DLC or game updates and literally just click on it and then you open it to install it. It's that easy. I don't have any DLC or game updates for this one, but that's how you do do it. So let's close out of here and file in exit and file and close window. So let's go back into Wii U. And if I open up Star Fox Zero again, this should now be displaying in 1080p.
And here we go, we're now back in Starbox Zero and we have got 1080p enabled and it just looks a lot clearer. Looks very good. So let's just exit out of here. So I'm going to press all in F4 together and that's going to exit. So that's it for my Batacera in Wii U setup guide today. Like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you've seen today, be sure to check out my Batacera playlist as being uploaded quite often nowadays. And I also do a lot on Retro Bat 2, which is always like a Windows version of Batacera. Be sure to hit notifications and subscribe so you don't miss content, which I upload almost daily nowadays too. And join me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.